I do foresee employing a psychologist and a psychiatrist myself and having the man examined, of course, as thoroughly as we can, having in mind the kind of charge it is. They had found one of the victim's wallets on Richard when he was arrested. The challenge would be proving that he was legally sane when he committed the murders. During the trial, Richard admitted to his crimes, including drinking his victim's blood and decaying the infant. He said he thought it was therapeutic. He also described himself as a quote-unquote good person, although weak in heart and mind. The defense asked for a verdict of second-degree murder to spare Richard the death penalty and get life in prison instead. The prosecution argued that he was a sexual sadist and a monster who knew what he was doing the entire time. On May 8, 1979, the jury found Richard Chase guilty of six counts of first-degree murder after deliberating for just five hours. 